Hi, I'm making this video for a friend of mine, but I assume it will be helpful for pretty much everybody. Um, just looking at how our state of mind and the moods that we create and the attitudes we create, how massively they affect how enthusiastic you are for the projects you're doing and how much enthusiasm you have, which then ultimately affects how easy it is, how skillful you are, because your mind is focused or not. Um, the enthusiasm leads to how quickly you learn and how deeply you'll understand things. Um, so often, we'll get caught in the processes that our attitudes and thoughts have taken us. And then the impact of those attitudes and thoughts, the impact that has on our lives and on our moods, we're not so conscious of designing the impact. We're just kind of going with whatever attitudes or thoughts happen to be going through. And I just wanted to spin that around and, and ask what would be the attitudes, the approaches to what we're doing that would help us to be as awesome as possible, to enjoy what we're doing, to be giving all of our creativity and brilliance to whatever we put ourselves to. Um, I've applied this a number of times to different parts of my life. Um, when I was studying, I began to just hate my studies. I'm not going to go into why, but uh, a lot of you could probably relate to that. And then when it was pointed out to me that we can choose our state, we can choose our habits, I started just imagining every day loving it, being completely invigorated by it, captivated by every class, enjoying and seeing the, the positive qualities of all of my professors and teachers. And I justified that to myself by, well, if I'm going to be there, I may as well thoroughly love the experience and give it 100%. And once I'd made that decision, I could then construct the attitude and the state of mind that made it enjoyable and made it awesome. And, you know, if someone had just said that to me, I would have been like, whatever. But it was said to me in a way that I could then cultivate that. So I started to imagine how it would feel. And obviously, it just felt so much better to be enjoying it and feeling good. And just looking at that, creating the attitudes and the moods that would help me most. The more I thought about that, the better it felt. It's completely changed the, the way I approach my mind and consciousness. I now think based on the results I want to get, rather than thinking just whatever happens to have been going through my head. And because I'm consciously, intentionally creating the thoughts and the feelings that I want, I get to keep making them better. Like mental engineering. And, uh, yeah. I know there's some pretty brilliant engineers out there who, if you think about the kind of moods and states of mind that would help optimal human performance, I know you'll create things that are better than I ever could. And not only will it make your life awesome, it'll help those around you and together it will go out to the people in your lives and those attitudes will spread maybe you'll make more awesome videos than this maybe with amazing music and fashion and stuff that will catch the minds of the world and yeah, we can inspire people to really love their lives and to be their best um, and that's something I think is really worthwhile